to use Wolfram's Mathematica to answer a question, finding an absolute extrema on a function. So here I want to find the absolute extrema, and that means the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum of the function f of x, which is x plus 2 sine x, on the interval 0 to 2 pi. And uh, in general, you may not have an absolute ma min or max, but since I have a closed interval 0 to 2 pi, I know for sure I will. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this in Mathematica. Uh, first of all, you need to define your function. So you do that carefully, please. Uh, remember that anytime you define a function, your variable has to be underlined uh, in, the, in the function definition. And that way it tells Mathematica what in my expression here is actually the variable. See so if I put a plus y, notice the y is blue. It doesn't know that y is supposed to be a variable here because I didn't define it earlier. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna have x plus two sine x, and there's my function. Now, um, just to get a look at this thing, I'm going to use the plot function, and I'm plotting f of x going from 0 to 2 pi. And there it is. There's my graph. Okay, so I can see, well, actually for absolute min and max, I can see instantly this is going to be 0 and the value, value 2 pi. But we're supposed to use some calculus to verify that. And so how do you do that? To test for absolute min and max, we need to find the critical points which are where the derivative equals zero, and then we'll test those values and the endpoints. So the critical points are going to be this, this little hill and this little valley here, whatever x values make that happen. Okay, so how do you find the critical points? Um, there are several ways to do this in Mathematica, and I'll show you how to do this. Um, we need to set the derivative equal to zero and solve for x. That's how you find where your critical points are. So if you have a polynomial or something that doesn't involve trig, then usually this will work. You can use the solve function, and I want to solve the derivative, and Mathematica does understand the prime notation for derivative. Equals equals zero. Anytime you have an equation, you want to write double equals. I want to solve this for x. Okay, now the problem is, Mathematica is a little too good for, for what it wants to do here. Um, you get these conditional expressions. These are your answers with this means plus uh, multiples of 2 pi, because sine is periodic, you're going to get hills and valleys in predictable ways according to this. Okay, so that doesn't exactly help us. So um, we're going to try a different strategy because we want exactly between 0 and 2 pi. So I'm going to use the reduce function. And I can say reduce my derivative equals equals 0. And I want to reduce, and I want to add an additional con expression. I want 0 to be less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2 pi. And then I'm going to solve that for x. So this will reduce the equation that I want on this limited domain, 0 to 2 pi. And there it is, 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. There's my answers. Now, another thing you can do sometimes is find root. And find root, you can put in your derivative equals equals 0. Fine root, though, um, they specify, I want to know over a specific range. And it's going to use numerical methods to find a root. So, so when I find that, I get this 4.18879, which is kind of right in here. All right, that's the 4 pi over 3. But notice it only found one of them. And it found it in a decimal form because it's using some sort of numerical expression, okay? So in this case, we're going to go with reduce. The reduce gave us the answers we want. All right, so now I have my candidate list of what's going to give me a min and max. Um, if I didn't have the picture, I would know that I need to test 0 and 2 pi and my two critical points. So I'm going to make a list. I'm going to call my list list. You can call it anything you want. And I'm going to put in 0, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 2 pi. Okay, so there's my list. And now what I want to do is find the function values of that list to see which one is the highest and the lowest. Okay, so here are my values. Now, if you're not too clear on what these actually are, you can say n f list, and it'll give you the numeric approximations of those. 
And so for example, root 3 plus 2 pi over 3 is actually around 2.82645. Okay, so now looking at this list, I can easily see the 0 is my min, and the 6.283 or 2 pi is better, a better way of saying that. That's my min and max. Okay, so to summarize my results here, I'm going to use a plain text input and I'm going to say the function reaches an absolute maximum at uh, 2. I want to write pi in text so you can do escape, pi, escape, there it is. And the x, the y coordinate at 2 pi is actually 2 pi as well. Okay, so there's my max. And an absolute min at zero zero, and there it is. Okay, so again, all you have to do is solve the derivative for zero, test those points along with your endpoints, and just see which one's the highest and the lowest. Uh, Mathematica can do all sorts of interesting things like this. If you have any questions on it, please let me know. I'd be glad to help. And thanks for watching. <laughs>